Yo ladies and gents, how's it going? My name is Jester J and welcome back once again to Dead Rising. Last episode we took a propaganda at Frugamore for the first time. We managed to meet another guy, another photographer named Ken, I think his name was. A little bit on the weird side though. And we also gone to check out our good buddy Brad, see what he was up to. And when we went to see Brad, he was actually getting fired on by our good friend Colito as well. Who still looks like a character from Tekken. Why can't I get that out of my head? He looks like a genuine guy from Tekken. I don't know. And once Colito stopped dropping bombs on us, finally, he went on his merry way. So after that little situation, Frank and Brad ended up teaming up to go and find us Old Man McGee. And as we were going through the mall to find Old Man McGee, we found a couple more survivors on our journey. So let's carry on where we picked up. Right, we're back with the gang now. Again, Brad, hopefully you don't mind these guys tagging along, but we kind of need our help. But before we do that, oh, no. I was about to say I know because the survivor that is around here somewhere, so I'm going to quickly look for him as well. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely guarantee sir. me safe passage. Oh, man, McGee! Just open this gate for your protection. I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Well, Barnaby. Safe. Sir. Thank you and Dr. Dr. Barnaby? Goodbye. Just read some books and wait for it all to blow over, I guess. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Seems pretty good agreement to me. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. Alright, cool. Alright, case one three done. Uh, case one four engaged. Oh, okay. Oh. Nine, not, I was about to say 9 p.m., 7 p.m. Night time has begun. There's one thing that I hate in Dead Rising is that I can't stand the night time. All the lights go off and nobody has any fun. Right. If I remember correctly, uh, the guy I'm looking for is... Over there. Right, if you guys say that. Um, if I remember correctly, the guy is around here somewhere. Okay, Frank, right now you're in the entrance puzzle. It looked like you got the shutter open. If you want to change... Something okay, whatever. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay, the zombies around here, guys, be quiet. See, I think he's in here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I was right. Hi, Bill. The man for a grapefruit, All right? Okay, buddy, I think you need to come with me, All right? Okay. Phew, what a relief to finally get out. I hear you, one. I was just trying to get to my place organized while well, the whole pile came. I think that, that didn't come crashing down. Well, that was stacked nicely. Anyway, more zone today, right? It's not a holiday. Uh, so this guy was trapped before it, before the uh, outbreak then. Take some apples. Oh, baseball bat. Pick up a baseball bat, pick up a baseball bat. Okay. Get rid of an apple. Okay, well you come with me now. Now you realise there's actually zombie zombies out there. Okay. Cool. All right, we got Bill. Good old Bill. Oh, we leveled up as well. Very nice. Attack, 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 attack. Very nice. Right. Okay. Come along, Bill. Boy, that's going to be difficult trying to get these guys come with me. Looks like I got nothing against them. It's because there's so many of them. Well, there's only four, but still. Right. Are any of you injured? Okay, Aaron. 
I gave you an apple. The rest of you should be all right. But Carrie, and Carrie, Leah, yeah, okay. Oh, chips or snacks. Uh, Bert, I will give you a baseball bat. I will pick up this one. Right, okay, we are ready to go. The other way is short, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so we have to travel all the way back around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys. It's not a party without you all here. Rock the Oh, god damn it, Bert. Right, who the fuck is in trouble? Oh, good god, guys, you started a mosh pit. Bill. I seriously mean it. See, now I'm getting eaten because of you, you dick. I don't think it was worth saving you, to be honest. Come on. Follow me. But I'm getting... I'm... Seriously, this is so goddamn annoying. It's so annoying, like, they stop and fight and they got no chance. Because apart from Bert, they don't have any weapons. And when they do have weapons, they hit me. Aaron, seriously? Go and suck an egg. Aaron, where the hell are you going? Come on, man. Oh, Bill's gone. Yeah, God damn it, Bill. Whoa. Well, that is a way to go in a zombie apocalypse. Bill, you suck balls. No, Bert, you get fucking back, back, back over here. Okay, what? And now I'm dead. Sweet. Yeah, I'm back here again. Now I have to go and talk to old man McGee again. Around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Guys, stop fighting and come with me. I get all the zombies away. Don't worry. They like me better. I'm so damn popular. Right, Leah, come hither. No need to cry, guys. Frank is on the case. All right, don't mind me. I'm just going to get. I was going to say I'll go and get this this bleep bastard Bill again, but we'll wait for the cutscene. If I remember correctly, there's like a sword shop round here on this side. Do 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 do. Wait, is that it? Ned's. Nickknackers. Wait. It's a. Wait, I'm sure there's like a ton of something in here. Oh, hang on. Yes, katana. And battle axe. Isn't there like a sword or something around here? Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll take we'll take two katanas, guys. I thought I told you guys to stay downstairs. Right, Bill. You little shit. You're gonna cause trouble like you did last time. And cutting boxes like a badass. Right, while you go and worry, I'll go and grab myself another katana. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, I'll give you one. What the hell's going on out here? Um, not much. I mean, there's a, dead bo there's a dead body there. No, Bill, Bill, Bill. Take the katana. It might be better now. But for the time being. I'll eat my great fruits and we'll get two more katanas. So I'll carry Leah and I'll give the other katanas to what's my faces? Bert and Aaron. How the hell did you guys appear? So should we get a suit? No. Nope. We don't want a hanger, we want a suit. Hmm. Not feeling a white. Yeah. No. Nope. I guess we have to go to the white. We'll get pick some shoes up as well. Or maybe not. Will you shut up. I guess we're stuck with a white suit now. For like a from the from the eighties. Eat up, buddy. You're looking famished. Uh, and Aaron, I'll give you a juice. Pick up that katana. I'll give uh -huh. katana to you and a katana to you. And we'll take a bit base back just to be safe. Right, okay, now they're equipped this time, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyway, we know what happens, we know what's said. 
Old Man McGee wants to stay in his bookshop. Over there. What the hell are you guys doing? You guys are doing a tremendous job. I'm so proud of you all. Aaron, for the love of God. Oh, for cry crying out loud, Bill. Not again. Bill. 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 Aaron, giving you that katana was a, just a terrible idea. If I die again because of this, guys, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Shove it. Stop fighting my nads. Running on the treadmill, running on the treadmill. Gonna get fit. Guys, get going. Okay, Leah. Aaron. It's a good thing we're in the bloody food court. Because man is hung... Well, I'm not hungry, but these guys need to get fed. Right, you might try blending mixes. I don't really have time, Otis. I'm sorry, mate. Over there. Stop saying help and go to where I said to go. What are you doing? Shut your filthy mouth. Let's take a second and let's breathe. Right. Otis, what's up? Uh, the Space Rider machine in Wonderland. Maybe there's somebody out there. Okay. Good God, Leah, how are you still alive? Uh, I think we're okay here for now. Thank you. So, guys, if you stay there. Hi, guys. Uh, Sophie, come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is why we brought wine, guys. This is why we brought wine. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Drink. No! Damn it! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all of that again and then I'll yeah, I'll cut to when we're back at this area. Okay. One eternity later. Okay guys, so we're back in the food court, we're just about to leave onto the outside, but I've just got a message from Ota saying that there's um a clown or something. It's um I think his name's Adam, the, the psychopath. And what I remember is that he has a survivor and that survivor works at uh, works in the mall and he knows like a secret route and instead of like travelling all the way across the park, hopefully say Sophie and save take out convicts whilst trying to keep the survivors alive basically is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and see this psychopath Adam Clown thing um, and fight him and then if we get that survivor he'll take us all the way to the secret magical bathroom that takes us all the way back to Paradise Plaza and then that way I think it's just quicker and then later on when we've got no survivors and we can just focus on getting these convicts then we can go and rescue Sophie so yeah, let's try that basically. No, much. don't. I didn't mean to give you the wine, I meant to carry you! Right. Bloody hell, this is a lot harder than what I thought. I remember when I played this game years ago, it was really easy, obviously, because I racked up so many levels. But Storm from the bottom is just difficult. I need some weapons. Where are the goddamn weapons? Bill's got a weapon, but I can't take it off him. This is not looking good. Right, I need good good weapons. Baseball, ba baseball bat will do. Right, and before... Oh, okay. Uh, before we actually fight 
this psych path because I know we're going to have to and I know we're low on health so I'm going to save the game first. Alright, here we go. Let's see what's in store for us. Yeah, I remember now. It's Krusty the Clown! I don't think they did. Okay. I forgot how creepy he is. That's pretty much what happens in a zombie apocalypse, yeah. No, they're dolls, surely. I don't know if you met the zombies. They're not too bad. Right, no, guys, you stay back. Remember, stay back. Oh god, okay. Dodge and roll. Duck, duck and weave. No, for love of god, guys. Oh god, okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Bert, stay the fuck down. Oh, it's not now. Right, Dodge and weave. Oh god, the fire, the fire. Oh god, that ball's everywhere. Right, I saw somebody going up off it. Well, good for you, Oz. Good for you. I need to get food somewhere. So I don't know how I'm going to survive this. Chill, guys. Don't worry. Holy shit! Oh, we did it! Yes! Oh, sorry, Krusty. Ooh. That's one way to go. <laughs> oh, see, it's infectious. We've officially defeated our first psychopath. That was damn fun. Okay, you obtained an ID card. Very nice. Oh, okay guys, you can come out and play. But first, we get a good old photo of dear Adam. Okay, examine. And I believe we get another survivor which will lead us to Paradise Plaza. Yep, there he is. I bet you had fun, didn't you? Thanks, I was in real trouble. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Okay, guys. Um, right. Okay. Sh sure are. Everyone's in the security room. It's safer. Security room, and I have a shortcut. Where's, where's the security Greg? Oh, Greg's over there. Okay. Right, first, I want to get myself another one of these. Oh yes, oh yes, this will, this does, this does very nicely. Oh god, I love this weapon. Well, come on Greg, tell me where to go. Okay, we have to stay close to him. Oh god damn it, Greg. You're happy now I took a picture of you, Greg? Is that all you wanted? Greg. 
the love of God, Greg! Greg, go, 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 go. Okay, right, he's safe. Right, egg one. Go. Ex exactly, Frank, go. And save. Oh, God. Talk about an absolute nightmare. Right, okay. Are we all ready? Now stop pushing. Greg? No, I... Okay. You guys stay here while I just go and look for food, okay? Eat some pie, eat some pie, eat some pie. Damn, that zombie can levitate. Okay, the reason why I'm so kind of quiet and a bit all over the place is because I took so long trying to save these freaking survivors. But I do not want to lose them. Greg, where's your OJ? You left your OJ? Come on, man. Right, Greg, 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 Greg. Yes. Drink. Good. Okay. I don't know what that, what that was. You know what? I think we can make it this far. Right. Guys, you ready? Is everyone ready? Follow me. Okay, let's do this. Come on, guys. Call ass. Call ass. Come on. Now get off my nads, woman. A dead, undead woman. This is not going according to plan. Right, screw it. Clean house, clean. Now, guys, go. You all there, guys? You all there? Stop, Aaron. My God, you're running into a tree. Come on. Is it everyone accounted for? Does everyone have a buddy? Ah, okay. At least you don't have to go all the way down that little bit of... I don't know why I'm complaining, it's just a little bit of corridor, but still. Ah, the bees. Everybody twit. Twit, 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 twit. Yeah. There we go. What in the hell is going on around here? Beautiful. Captain the Queen. Thanks. Thank God. Escort complete? No crap, escort complete. Oh, thank God, we leveled up. Yeah. New skill. And. We level up again. Yeah. Stock. Okay, good. Level up again. Yeah. Attack. Okay, good. More powerful. Is that it? I got all them people that way. Right, okay. Ooh, bloody hell. What's up, Jess? Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? Hmm. Yep. The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We got a line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. Uh-oh. So... If we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're going to have to secure a way out of here ourselves. Pretty much. All right. We've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon. It's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. 
We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Yo, Frank! Give me a hand here. Hey. What... what gives? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? So, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. You all right there? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> you should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. We can switch in four hours, okay? Right guys, I'm going to end it there for today. My god, I think that is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do on this channel is get a couple of survivors from A to B. That has taken a friggin' lot out of me, I tell you. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please smash that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, why not subscribe to me as well? As always, my name's been Jesse J. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace. Why not? But you just said you're confusing.